Hey there, this is Matt with Defense Innovations, and today I wanted to talk to you about the Gemtech Blackside 45 Suppressor. Uh, now, the big thing for me that I was looking for in a pistol suppressor, as this was the first pistol suppressor that I was going to own, was versatility. I wanted it to be able to do multiple calibers effectively, and in research, uh, I kind of came to the black side. And as you can see here, it lists uh, 45 and um, 40 Smith & Wesson. It also does 9mm very well. Um, and so I've had great successes across the board, not only on pistols, but also on sub-type gun platforms. So here's a picture right here of the can on my Glock 17. I've got another picture here of my Glock 19. And uh, finally here, I've got a picture of it on a direct thread mount onto a SIG MPX. Uh, here's a fixed mount, which is a, the amount that you would be able to use when you don't need a uh, like a piston, such as something you would need on a semi-automatic handgun like this. And you can see here on Gemtech's site all of the thread pitches offered for the uh, piston cores. So let's go out to the range and see how it sounds. This is Matt with Defense Innovations, and today I want to talk to you about the Gemtech Blackside uh, 45 can. And I'm going to be shooting this on a couple different guns today. I'm going to be shooting it on a Glock 17, as it sits right now, a Glock 21 in 45, and a SIG MPX in 9mm. So let's go ahead and get started. It's going to be somewhat quiet, so I'm not going to be wearing any ear pro. But um, let's go ahead and see how it sounds. So for those of you who are wondering, those were just Winchester white box, uh, 115 grain. Um, and I'm going to switch now to a little bit heavier grain. I'm going to go to some 147 FMJs. These ones are made by Browning. So let's see what we can hear here. See now, if I shoot down into this valley here, there's nothing down there, but you, if I'm not hitting the metal, you can hear how quiet this gun is. I actually hear the shrubs down there. Back steel. Dirt. There was another bullet that I did want to try here. Um, it is a 147 grain spear. Uh, this one is a hollow point. So it's about the same as the Browning full metal jacket. Out into the woods. out into the woods. So as you can see, the black side 45 really suppresses the nine millimeter rounds, especially the subsonic ones. So, I mean, I've been pretty impressed just for having one pistol can. This seems like it'd be a good way to go.
Glock 21 Gymtech Blackside 45 shooting 230 grain ball ammo. You can really hear that thud down in the woods going back and forth between the two different types of uh, targeting here. So whether we're shooting the steel plate, the AR-500 plate, or if we're shooting just down there into the dirt pile, you can definitely tell a difference uh, in the sound. So definitely a little bit quieter with the nine, uh, with the 45, I should say, versus the uh, nine millimeter. And uh, last, but certainly not least i have a sig mpx and nine millimeter uh got my stamps back for these not too long ago so definitely a fun uh, two stamper here um, i just want to do this this is more of a fun demonstration here just showing the versatility of the can this is using the direct thread mount you do not need a booster in there uh, it is just a direct mount that i've actually loctited the base uh, to the uh, end of the barrel and then the can threads on and off of that so going to do a little bit of a mag dump here on the steel target um, with 147 green spear hollow points.